Rock, Paper, Scissors, Team Hoop Jump. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online, and we're here today to talk about a game called Rock, Paper, Scissors, Team Hoop Jump. Now, what you're going to need for this activity is a lot of hula hoops. All right, I would say like maybe 36 uh, hula hoops or more, uh, depending on how the size of the class that you have. And what I do for the setup is um, this shows you three games going on at a time. Uh, smaller classes that you're going to see here in action, there's only two games going on at a time. Um, but it really does depend on the size of your class and fa how far you want them to do the jump. Uh, you're also going to need to teach your kids how to do rock, paper, scissors. We just use the simple rock, paper, scissors, and it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, and they're only going to play one time. So when they go do each rock, paper, scissors contest is a one-shot deal. It's not the best out of three. All right, so that's Rock, Paper, Scissors, Team Hoop Relay. The setup, again, uh, you kind of space them out, and I usually have uh, 12 hoops, and then on the end, I'll put like a different color hoop. That's that hoop that they jump in at the end to determine who wins the round. Um, so I, I usually put in a straight line. If you want to put them in a zigzag pattern, you can totally do that. Uh, for some of them, I, they're straight ahead. Uh, for some of them, uh, they're um, zigzag. So again, a lot of hula hoops. So the object of this game is for the team to score points. And what I've done is I'll usually separate the teams into maybe three to four, again, depending on the size of your group. And I position one team on one side, one team on the other. So you have one person that starts in this hula hoop and this hula hoop over here. And I teach them that, hey, when you, when you play this game, you've got to jump and you've got to take off two feet and you've got to land on two feet so you haven't practiced jumping. What you want to avoid is have them just walking through the hula hoops, uh, making sure uh, that they are jumping off of two feet and landing on two feet. Otherwise, uh, kids get, uh, get upset if the other group is just uh, running through and they're jumping. It's actually an advantage uh, if you're just stepping through. So teach them how to jump on two feet and land on two feet. So this person jumps to this hoop, this person jumps to this hoop. Meanwhile, this person is doing the same thing and eventually they meet. So let's say that they meet right here. That's a rock, paper, scissors contest when you meet. You don't want two people in a hula hoop. You just want one in a hula hoop. So when they meet, they stop, they rock, paper, scissors. Let's say that this person wins the rock, paper, scissors. All right? They would continue jumping, but this person files back to the end of the line. Meanwhile, that next person in line has to block that person before they get to that hoop on the side. So this person is jumping here. Let's say they get to right here, and that person's... Uh, who is blocking gets to this last hoop, all right? So if this person who is jumping, uh, or if this per these two people right here, rock, paper, scissors, and the person here wins, they're almost at the end, they would jump into that hoop off to the side, all right? If they do, they win that contest. If they lose, they file back to the end of the line, and this person then has to jump in the hoop to meet this person who's going to block them. So this team is trying to get to that side hoop over here. This team is trying to get to that side hoop over there. The first that does so wins a point. Once you win a point, you simply go back, start over. Uh, this is a, a, a very much of a cardio game because they're going to be doing a lot of jumping. That's why you want some rest time. Maybe put three to four in a group. Now, after about two to three minutes, what I usually do is I have one team stay in place. Let's say this team stays in place, and they rotate one game down. So this group would go down here. This group would go down here. They would come down here, and they would rotate over here, and then they come across. This group always stays the same, and what this does is it allows them to play other teams. All right, this is called Rock, Paper, Scissors two Team Hoop Jump. Um, very popular. Got a lot of thumbs up on this activity. So um, again, the setup, a lot of hula hoops, but once you get going and you teach them the rock, paper, scissors, how to jump uh, and where they're supposed to jump, it takes a few rounds for them to get the hang of it. Uh, this is a, a real uh, crowd pleasing activity. So you're gonna see it here in action. Uh, give it a try and as always, thanks for watching.